So here I have two objects, a solid cylinder and a hoop. And we've talked about mass moments of inertia now, and I'm gonna do a demo to show kind of why that matters. So I'm gonna line these up on a ramp. They have the same mass and the same radius, and we're gonna see which one gets to the bottom first. But take a moment, which one do you think is gonna to get to the bottom first? Any ideas why? Good question. So pause the video, think about it for a minute. Once you've made a prediction about which one's gonna to get to the bottom first, let's actually see what happens. So here we go, I'm gonna set them at the top and I'm gonna release them from rest, both nicely pointed parallel down the ramp. On your mark, get set, go. Okay, so I was rolling off the ramp, but this one clearly won. Why is that? Maybe it was because of how I did the experiment. I'll switch places, try and get them parallel again, and hard to do, on your mark. Get set. Again, the solid one wins. And basically, no matter how we do this experiment, if they're rolling down the ramp, this one's gonna win. And that's because it has a smaller mass moment of inertia. We just derived them for these two shapes. Remember, the equation for the solid ring, or the ring, is mr squared, and the equation for the solid cylinder was one half mr squared. So this one's actually twice as easy to get moving in a circle than the ring is. And since they have the same mass and the same center of mass, they're getting the same kind of push from gravity down the hill, but the ring is harder to start rotating than the solid disc is, and so the solid disc makes it to the bottom first. 